welcome to a new video. I am a little sick currently right now, so if I sound a little congested, you know why. Today we're going to be doing how to maintain clear skin. I'm going to be giving you guys five tips, and you guys are going to learn in this awesome video. Let's get into it. Number one, drink lots of water. I carry a water bottle every single day, whether it's this or another pink water bottle, or you guys can buy a really cute water bottle and it'll motivate you to drink water. But if you don't like water, which is rare, but it happens, add some lemon to your water and it will actually taste different, but it tastes good. Um, I have my retainer in, so if I have a tiny little lisp, you know why. Um, I have here a list of benefits that lemon water gives you. So it gives your immune system a <laughs> gives your immune system a boost. So vitamin C is in lemon water. So lemon juice is full of potassium. It helps you aid di digestion. Digestion retainer. Okay, cleanses your system. It also freshens your breath. Um, it keeps your skin blemish free. So if you want clear skin, drink lots of lemon water. It's obviously not going to clear your skin at all, but it definitely gives your skin a nice glow and it helps you lose weight, but it doesn't really help you lose weight. If you work out and drink lemon water, definitely will help you lose weight and it reduces inflammation. So if you have red skin, it'll reduce that. And it's really good. Once you wake up, drink cold lemon water. Oh my gosh. So good. It'll help you wake up and it gives you the energy. Um, number two. Stay away from junk food. Um, I'm a little hypocrite because I can't stay away from junk food. But if you really, really want to sacrifice that junk food for that clear skin, do it. You are what you eat. I eat junk food. I also sometimes try healthy food. Sometimes. But I like to keep, if, if, if my skin is like on the verge of breaking out and about to pop a bunch of pimples, I will definitely, definitely sacrifice the junk food. I sacrificed chocolate. I do not eat chocolate. I say I don't like chocolate, so my friends don't give me chocolate, so it doesn't, because if I eat chocolate, it'll, I'll break out the next day or two days, and it's definitely 100% I will break out. And I've heard that food stuff is a myth to your skincare, but I don't think so. I think whenever I eat chocolate, boom, a pit bull pops up. So instead I say I don't like chocolate, so people don't offer me chocolate, and then I sacrificed food. Well, I sacrificed chocolate. So yeah, stay away from junk food. Don't eat it too often, but if you want, eat it sometimes, you know, go on. Number three, wash your face daily. Um, I like to do a skincare routine every single night. I like to pamper myself. I actually have a skincare video up on my channel so you can go click that I'll leave it in the description box below but um, washing your face daily is very important because you have a lot of dirt and gunk and oil all on your face and you want to get that off right before you're gonna go to sleep so not all makeup wipes remove everything it actually removes 99.9% .9 of it so that other 0.1% is still on your face somewhere and you still haven't gotten it so you might want to go wash your face, set up a skincare routine. You don't have to go crazy and add so much products like I do sometimes because that can actually make your skin worse. But you can have one cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer, three things, one night, at every single night, and it'll go good. I promise. Number four, don't wear makeup every day. It's so funny because I'm filming a skincare routine right now and I'm wearing a full face of makeup, but this is for the camera and the lights or else I look really dead and like a zombie. But if you don't wear makeup every day, you're going to let your skin breathe and it's going to be fresh. I like to give my skin Saturdays, only Saturdays, um, days of no makeup. But then if I have a break, like spring break, which I'm currently on right now, I like to not wear makeup at all. At all. Just be bare face because it's good to show your skin and it's nice to let your skin breathe. Because if you take on that makeup every single day... It's just going to make your skin feel worse and tight and clogged up and pore. So you want to make sure you're washing your face and you're letting your skin breathe. Number five, don't touch your face. It's very, very important to not touch your face because, 
let's say I am in class. My hand is right here. I'm not going to touch it right now. But let's say I'm touching it. All day, I've been touching books. I've been hugging people. I've been touching counters. I've been in the bathroom. I've flushed a toilet. I've done so many things. And all that bacteria is in these hands. You are in control, my people. You're in control of touching your face and you're in control of how much bacteria goes onto your face because if you are that type of person who touches her face a lot, then you're gonna wound up having a lot of bacteria on your face which is gonna cause acne or pimples or blackheads or whiteheads. The bacteria on your hands can lead to breakouts. Also, your phone, which is crazy because young generations don't really talk on the phone much, so you're usually right here, but let's say you are on the phone, your phone was on the toilet, right? Or like on the side, on your desk, on your bed, and you put it right here and it's like bacteria all over here. Or your pillowcase is also full because let's say, like me, I have curly hair, but I have straight hair right now. But let's say I have natural curly hair, I do. Um, natural curly hair and I put products and then I slept in my pillow and then boom, turn to the side. And then your face is full of that stuff and it's all gunky bacteria stuff. So you have to wash your face, and you have to wash your pillowcases, and your washcloths, because you're drying your face after you wash your face, but that can also have bacteria and other bugs. But remember, you are beautiful whether you have nice skin or not. It's honestly just about your personality, and skincare is such a hard topic to talk about these days, because some people can't really even look at themselves in the mirror because of how much stuff is on their face, but you are in control of how much things you put on your face, if you touch your face a lot, all that bacteria. It's very important to just love yourself whether you have nice skin or not because we all have those days where a few people pop up and if someone comes up and tells you that they have perfect skin, they're lying because not nobody has perfect skin and everyone has like problem areas like me. It looks like I have clear skin and the number one question I get at school is probably how do you keep your skin so clear? And it's, I drink a lot of water and I wash my face and I try not to touch my face at all. But it's really hard and it's not like I have clear skin. I have breakouts sometimes, most of the time. I like to eat junk food a lot, so that's what's gonna lead to all this. I have a lot of blackheads, which you don't normally tend to see on camera, but I do. So it's very important to love yourselves. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below other suggestions of videos you guys would like to see. I love you guys very much. Um, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all of that. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Mwah.